Hello, my name is Leroy Taylor, and this is my Community of Worship presentation. The church that I am representing is Hope City Highlands here in Seabrook, Florida, Highlands County. Hello, in this presentation, we will establish connection between church community, worship, and character formation. We will explain the criteria for evaluating how a church community should facilitate the character formation of its members. We will describe how the church community facilitates character formation through worship services and other means. And lastly, we will evaluate the church community's facilitation of character formation according to the criteria that is presented. We're gonna focus on the strengths and even some areas of improvement. This is a place where as you walk in, you feel the love of Christ. It's a church, but more than that, the people who work, who greet, who do anything in the ministry makes you feel at home. Upon arrival, you are welcomed by people who they call greeters at the front door. From the parking lot to your seat, you feel welcome and you walk into this room in the main sanctuary where the lights are kind of dim, creating an atmosphere of like personal worship. It gives you a sense that you're not put on a spotlight so you can have your own personal space, even though you're around a crowd. From start to finish, you're glued into the action of what's going on. They start the service off with worship. And then after that, someone comes and prays for everybody in the congregation or whatever might be the prayer concern of the day. And then after that, we experience a time in God's word from the preacher. After the message, the altar call is given and everyone has an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior or rededicate their lives to Christ. A part of the altar call, the preacher or the person up front asks if anyone needs prayer. At that moment, people feel free to come up to the altar and get prayed for. They mention how there's a need for workers in the ministry as well as in the community. They have an idea of getting discipled and then going out and discipling others. This is the way they carry out the great commission in the community by loving others and reaching the lost. We are a city, a city that has its problems just like anyone else. We struggle with violence and sin. People are desperate they are in desperate need of help due to the loss of jobs and even their homes. There's a cry. There's a cry coming from Highlands County. And it's a cry of hope. So how do we help? We help by understanding first that people are lost and they are living in the world that's fully committed to sin and fleshly desires. As Jesus lived and was moved by compassion for the people, we must also feel compassion for those who are lost in this broken world. For us as a church to be considered hope in this city, we have to orchestrate help for others. We must first be willing to dedicate ourselves to learning who we are in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.17 states, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. To understand who we are as Hope City, let's take a closer look to see what we're really all about. As a church, we're trying to build a culture of worship, a place where you can submit yourself to Christ and worship freely. 
understanding that he is the one that has saved your soul. Upon your first time arriving at Hope City, you will get invited to one of our special groups, small groups, DNA. That means discover, nurture, and act. This is where we expect you to gather, to go, to grow, and to give. A discipleship invitation to look inward, to grow deeper, and to be transformed by the word of God and one another. Through this journey of discipleship, you will also learn that we are people who love God and love each other. We are also committed to demonstrating the love of God in Christ Jesus. We evangelize and serve the community, bringing them into the fellowship. We also believe in teaching the word of God through biblical truths. We believe in equipping each and every one of our members to do the work of the ministry. And most importantly, we believe that you should serve, 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 because that's what Christ would want us to do as the body of Christ. At Hope City, we teach the word. Using scripture, we allow people to grow with life applications. When we read the Bible, we focus on how we could apply the scriptures to our day-to-day -day lives. We share the gospel as commanded by Jesus before he ascended. In Mark 16, 15, it says, And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. So how do we facilitate character formation? We teach that we are to be holy as God is holy. The Bible helps individuals live morally right when they obey God's word. The objective is to teach the Bible so congregants can live the Bible out. We build genuine relationships. To hold members accountable, there must be authentic relationships that have been developed over time. Proverbs 27, 17, as iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. We start building character with children ages 2 up to 18. With our children's ministry, we will surely teach them Christ's principles, followed by our middle and high school students. And this is how we facilitate character formation, constantly focusing on developing through the principles that Jesus Christ taught his disciples, enriching community and building substance within each individual. Bruce Birch says, while the character of God is the focus of moral life, the community of faith is its catalyst. One of my concerns when it comes down to Hope Silly Highlands is that since COVID, they haven't had any Bible study. And Bible study is one of the key tools when it comes down to character development on a spiritual level. If Christians aren't being developed, then how can the light of Christ be strong in the community? These are one of the weaknesses I've noticed about the ministry. One way that they are trying to remedy it is through the DNA or small groups that they have for others to attend. However, through Bible study, these are one of the most effective ways that a person will be able to build up their moral life by understanding and learning more about the gospel on a consistent basis. One of the strengths that Hope City Highlands have is that they partner up with other organizations within the community. For instance, Youth for Christ. 
is one of the city's organizations that bring young people together to receive the word and character development. Even though Hope City might be small in numbers, by utilizing the body of Christ and faith-based organizations within their community, they're able to stretch the gospel beyond their means. They also believe in giving to organizations that provide services that they do not provide themselves. This again helps the whole picture of the community that can be enriched in the principles of Jesus Christ and character development. Conclusion. Through this, I hope you enjoyed your experience of what a worship Sunday or service would look like. I hope you also have a great understanding of what it is that we do at Hope City in our community. That Hope City Highlands prides themselves on is the fact that they are in love with Christ Jesus and they are devoted to praying for ones who need prayer. And that helps along with the development of a Christian life. And prayer is the focus point of Hope City Highlands. Help with the development of even their own prayer lives. This is a church that believes prayer changes things even people. So thank you for paying attention and being a part of my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. God bless you.